Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We are continuing our Saving My Disastrous campaign. This is Season 2. It is called The Royal Disaster and we're in Episode 5. My name is Saiken and I want to invite you to another supply raid. Uh, the reason why we're doing it is, although it might add an extra mission, I felt this will give us uh, enough funds to get the campaign back on track. Um, it's probably the last mission where we where we will approach it without the armor upgrade. Um, there is a side trip uh, which is called low profile going on, so I'm only allowed to field uh, sergeants and below. That's the reason why you see a couple of sergeants and two corporals here. We didn't have a ranger, so I'm going in with a dual um, specialist. Which I think isn't the worst decision ever. So let's give it a go and see how it develops. As for the general campaign, we are three blips away from having a full adventure uh, avatar project again. So what I really would want to do is focus the second mon a month of the recovery on to reducing the avatar as far as possible. Uh, that's why we're currently stretching our, um, our influence uh, into North America as well. And let's use the funds, specifically the supplies um, and whatever we get out of this run here to um, really upgrade the armor and the weapon uh, weapons as much as possible. And once the training uh, facility is online, we might even be able to really train the, uh, the top troops and give them some extra perks. That would be helpful, so overall I assume our soldiers uh, will become strong enough so that I can officially declare this run as unstuck. And that would mean that uh, second, uh, the second um, season of Saving Your Campaign would be successful. Okay, matter of fact, we do not have any Reaper to scout for us. We don't have a time limit either, so we can take our time, really figure out what's going on. There is no high ground here, at least none that I immediately see. This one here and maybe this one here. Well, the farmhouse is high ground. So let's try to make our way towards the farmhouse. I think since everyone's still concealed, might be in a very decent spot to move everyone in. Great. Very good. Let's try to get our hands onto the high ground in the actual barn and move it from there. I trust in your command. So I'm not 100% confident that we can just move in, so to that let's rather play it careful. Again, we don't have a time limit here. I'm just trying to to make sure that everyone um, gets into position safe. We do have the spider suit finally equipped, so our sniper can take the high ground. And there's the first enemy pack. They're patrolling this area. Before we engage on them, I want to make sure that we're not having a second patrol like quite literally behind us. And look at that, I mean huge, huge area of influence where they would be able to see us. Their sensory range is 
gigantic. I'll take the high road. We're taking the high road. Position confirmed. And we're slowly, slowly but surely moving in. Lots of uh, these options here are unfortunately only half cover, but since we're still concealed, it really doesn't matter all too much. It just means uh, that once we lose our concealment, we need to get some decent cover. Well, that's interesting. We know that uh, they have a huge I detection range. Closing on target position so now. despite the fact that we can approach them a little bit closer, it's we still extremely dangerous uh, to go too far. You can see their detection uh, radius is still very, very sizable. We have much better cover this time. So with them moving in, we might even be able to pick them off with a nice sniper shot. Or even better, if they move on, we might just overwatch and let them run into us, which gives us a complete round of overwatch. They are most likely going to move down here, then they would spot us out, and by doing so, we would trigger them. There we go. Nice! So the, the moment in time when this guy reacts, his two friends have already been completely destroyed. Very nice. This unfortunately will not immediately kill him. Can we? Maybe. No, we can't. Wait a second. We do have an advanced stock, right? Right, this weapon here has an advanced stock, so let's get into proper cover, which is back here, full cover, and this here will deal at least two points of damage. There we go. That's good enough. So he's down to six, which means we can kill him. Superior scope is very, very good for the weapon. Uh, agility isn't bad either. So, might as well just stand there, to be honest. Position confirmed. And get the remaining uh, guys Rolling. into proper position. And see if we can catch out another, um, another overwatch trap. Pretty sure there will be more uh, patrols. Heading out. Okay, so moving into cover. I'll keep a watchful eye. Overwatching with everyone. I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Reload overwatch. Reload overwatch. Let's see if we can catch another one. 
Reload Overwatch. I'll keep it under watch. Back in on Overwatch. Overwatch. So there is a huge map in this direction. And I'm quite frankly surprised that we haven't had anyone ambushing is us from this direction like this was the very first pack and it's it had been said to be very difficult which usually means a lot of enemies Alright. Fair enough. Moving a bit closer. This here should remove a bit of the cover. We need to be careful with these golden um, with these golden covers. Like the golden uh, boxes. Reducing them too much would mean that we're forfeiting some loot. Uh, that was unfortunate. Fifty fifty to kill the Viper. We're still having the opportunity to kill this Viper. Let's make sure we're handing out a protocol. So that's full cover right there. And this will deal at least two points of damage. Very nice. I mean, yeah, we could move in. I'm only concerned that we will trigger yet another pack. We do have a Mimic Beacon, however, so it might be worth it. A focus strike of power. All right, we're two out of two. When it comes to focus, um, still got the mimic beacon. Okay. So moving in. We don't need the mimic beacon this time. The spectre will most likely just try to um, to control us and use his shadowbound form. We're dealing damage in advance, and let's use parry here. I don't, I don't think that we can parry the Shadowbound, to be honest, but if anything else happens, uh, we could parry that. Oh my god, his hand is mutilated and twisted. Poor little guy. Anyways. Unless the Spectre takes some completely weird positioning, we should be able to kill it. Yeah, that's that's an easy kill. Let's continue feeding kills to our um, to our Templar. There we go. Eliminated the second uh, pack. We're green to go. Scanning. Reloading. Sure thing. Although it's only half cover, the shooting angles here are better. Covering now. And I still Back hope. 
that we're going to um, trigger another Overwatch. To be honest, so far this hasn't been difficult at all. I don't know why the overall mission rating was very difficult. I really don't know. So we have kind of a line going from left to right here. I'm on it. My senses are keen. Oh yeah, Overwatch. Everyone is reloaded and ready. Not sure how many more packs we're actually going to find. These crates here are the ones that um, that will yield additional loot. Still no additional patrol. What the heck is going on? Okay, something is clearly off and I'm trying to figure out what. Not a problem. This here certainly is not right. There now. We should have engaged at least another pack by now. Closing on target position now. Let alone that the second pack needs to be somewhere Closing here. Over. Get some. Come get some. I will sense any disturbance. Hmm. Very strange. Okay, so we killed the two packs back here, right? Again, no further contact over here. Highly, highly suspicious. I'm wondering where the remaining aliens are, to be honest. There is still alien activity, but we seem to be not able to find them. So this is the end of the map. I'm pretty sure we have observed all of it. So they had a little jungle party in here. Interesting. On my way. So we're moving up into high ground. Heading to that location. Sure thing. Everyone moves in. Gosh, that's a low chance of hitting them. Let's try to get the cover out of the way. here might be a kill. There we go, one down. Let's take the shield bearer next.
Good. We still got the Mimic Beacon. Which I think this time is a good moment to use. I am totally uh, I'm totally surprised that we only found three packs so far, so unless we have missed like a fourth pack. This here is definitely not very difficult. So this here will kill. The um, shield bearer. And we readied up the Archon. Amplifying some damage onto it. Come on. Nice. Very solid shot. You will pay the price. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down. And that's supposed to be very hard. Uh no. That wasn't very hard at all. That was one of the easiest supply rates that I've uh, had in a while. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a... Okay, let's see market. if we get some fat loot out of it. I would hope so. Finally upgrading the um, the armor, and a lot of things are coming into place over the next four days. Some research is uh, finalized, and so on and so forth. So, uh, so very important couple of days in the in the uh, in the campaign now. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Nice little promotion. And we got ourselves Superior Scope, which is good. Very good, to be honest. We got an Agility mod. That's fine. And look at this here. 200 supplies, 50 Alarium, almost 100 Alien Alloys, 3 Alarium cores. Beautiful. We're back in business. We are absolutely back in business. So it's time to get the remaining supplies, we need money. And afterwards we need to uh, make contact to North America. Supplies. Oh nice, another 74 intel. Got the Viper autopsy for free. That means we can improve uh, the uh, the medic uh, medikits, which is a pretty decent uh, upgrade. And it's now either alien encryption to go for the shadow chamber, um, basically um, continuing the main storyline, which is probably not too bad to go this way. The other option is Elarium, which will then um, lead us to better um, weapons. So let's go with the main storyline. The reason why I want to do that is we need more options to reduce the Avatar um, timeline. That's our main problem at the moment. Armor. Time for uh, the Predator armor. What can I do for you, Commander? The aptly named... 
need more supplies to also get the uh, the spark upgraded and the other supplies will then go into probably the reaper rifle gosh there are a couple of things that we would need to upgrade gremlin mark 2 is important make auto pistol is important i'd like to get a better look at that rifle the chosen hunter uses Nice, we got the training center, look at it. Um, we can first and foremost increase the bond size of others, but the probably most important part is actually training of the soldiers. Um, so, our newly bought, um, our newly bought uh, highest level uh, grenadier has a death from above which is probably the best thing that he could have gotten. If we put him onto, onto a rooftop and he has death from above, he can continue to shoot and shoot and shoot with this weapon. This is just so valuable. Untouchable, beautiful ability for him as well. Um, I mean, it, it, it just is. Uh, once you kill someone, you cannot be hit again. Um, let's go with that. And an extra um, use of uh, the grenades aren't bad either. So we need to be careful not to spend too many points, but like uh, I can already see this is a very strong character for us. Doc, uh, the character that uh, did not have uh, the healing abilities also has deaths from above. Like so incredibly lucky to, uh, to have that skill on another uh, soldier. We're definitely going to give her uh, medical protocol. We need to give her revival protocol because it's useful and we're going to give her death from above because it's also useful. So um, making her the new main um, specialist These two are not so good for a ranger. I would probably go with Blade Master once uh, she has another point to spare. Commander, each of our soldiers is rated based on their understanding of our tactics and capabilities, something we refer to as combat intelligence. Because of their unique experiences in the field, our faction soldiers from the resistance will gain access to new abilities based on this combat intelligence. So, provides an additional uh, slot is probably the best thing that he could have had here. Zero in is also very good, but we're shy on points. Um, yeah, the Reaper, we already used her. Our Grenadier unfortunately only has aim. That's definitely not as good as our new Reaper Demo here. Demo, um, uh, no, not new Reaper, uh, new Grenadier Demo. He certainly has better abilities. Priest, our healing spec um, specialist, has lightning reflexes. That's fine, but I think with the newly upgrade, our um, specialist Doc is better. She also has death from above, so pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, we already looked at the Templar. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Unless I've forgotten about someone. Yeah. Well spined points. We just need to make sure the dock and um, the others are coming back. It's 22 days and that is a long, long time. So very soon the infirmary is going to be ready. Uh, that will be helpful. Um, looking at what else we could provide. Probably the next thing is the shadow chamber. So might not be the worst idea to actually do that and start excavating down here um, to get the power coil and build another power relay. We're going to use the supplies almost exclusively to upgrade the weapons now.
proving ground. Let's take a look at the projects. I think blue screen protocol Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished. needs to be done first. Well, since the experimental ammunition is almost done, might as well continue this. And by thinking about it, since we don't have an engineer there, the blue screen protocol is really very valuable. So might as well want to get it in 10 days. Hello, Commander. Building additional items, uh, we could go for another Mimic Beacon, and that wouldn't be too bad, but I told you that I wanted to go for the upgrades first. Um, upgraded armor is helpful. And let's get the Reaper weapon next. I think what's missing now are alien alloys. Um, I'll end today's mission here. And we're going to pick it up the next time. So thank you so much for watching and we are going to continue right here. Bye bye.